so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can create that kind of tax inflation effect in the blender with the help of the cloud simulation so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and here you can see guys here we have a final render and if i'll show my project file so here you can see this is my project file okay so in this video we'll just talk about each and everything how you can create that kind of effect how you can create that kind of tension effect as well okay and uh, we'll just talk about first of all how we can remesh our text mesh basically which is so important create that kind of uh, effect because if i'm just going to edit mode of this uh, text so here you can see we have a perfect mesh here if i'm just going to show you here here you can see so we have a perfect mesh here so how we can create that kind of perfect mesh we'll also talk about this thing so make sure you watch this tutorial till end okay so let's start the tutorial so i will just uh, delete everything okay and i will just add one text so i will just uh, press the shift a then i'm just going to add one text from the here and i'm just going to my top view and so from here i will just write some text so i will just write 4k special yeah something like that so first of all guys i will just change the font because that font does not look good to me right now so i will just go to my object data property here and here i will just open this font option and here i will just choose a uh, font which is i have downloaded if you want so i will just give the link into a description you can download that same font so i'm just going to locate that font so i'm just going to my download section and here i have already downloaded this font yeah so here you can see i'm going to use the this font basically for this effect so now i will just convert this text into a mesh so i'm just going to my object section and here i will just uh, choose the convert as a mesh and here you can see now we have a mesh here but if i'm just going to edit mode and here you can see we have a too much mesh here and which is we don't want basically so how we can rid of these lines basically that is not look good so for that what you have to do you have to just uh, enable your wireframe first of all so we can see easily what's going on here and here i'm just going to my modify section and here i'm just going to add one modifier it's called basically a decimate okay and i will just uh, change the decimate setting collapse as a planar so here you can see when i did the planar so here we can see we we just lose some uh, shape here if i'm just going to show you a preview here you can see we have a perfect round shape here but right now here you can see when i choose the planar we just lost this smooth curve shape so we can get this shape back so for that we have to just uh, decrease this angle limit so when i'm just going to decrease this angle limit so here you can see we get the that uh, smooth shape back and i think zero four is look fine to me and we have a perfect round shape he here okay and now i'm just going to uh, apply this modifier so now here you can see we have a clean surface here okay now i'm just going to extrude this uh, text pressing the e and here i'm just going to extrude something like that okay that's look fine by the way yeah that much extrusion is look fine to me we can do a little bit more i'm just going to a little bit more something like that okay so now here you can see we have a, a clean surface on top of this uh, text but which is we don't want because we need some a uh, mesh into our top part as well so for that we have to remesh this object basically so i will just go to my modify section and here i will just add that remesh modifier here you can see we have that uh, remesh modifier okay and i will just choose as a smooth so and make sure you just uh, disable this remove disconnected okay and now we have to just increase this octree depth so i will just increase this octree depth something like that i think that look fine and make sure you just enable this uh smooth shading so what is does exactly here you can see i'm just going to disable my wireframe so, so here you can see we have a smooth round corner here and which is look fine to me so i just want to reapply this remesh modifier as well so now we have a physical mesh here and which is look fine okay so everything look fine to me so now we'll just add the cloud simulation into our object then we'll get this uh, effect basically which is you can see here okay so first of all i will just uh, set this origin as a geometry here you can see then i'm just going to press this shift s and here i will just do the selection to cursor so it will automatically come into our origin basically word origin and then i just want to rotate this into a 90 degree something like that i think that's perfect yeah now what i will do i will just go to my uh, physics setting and here i will just add one cloth simulation into this text basically and then i'm just going to scroll it down and here i will just enable this pressure option from here and here i will just add the pressure value so i will just add the pressure value to 8 okay and make sure you enable this custom option uh, custom volume option here 
okay and here you have to just put the value only 3 and that is the pressure scale basically so it can be a uh, change according to your shape basically so i think uh, right now we have a perfect shape here we have some perfect uh, roundness here so we can just choose a, a five okay you can uh, choose this scale and this pressure according to your uh, shape basically okay it can be changed anytime okay it can be uh, changed according to your object shape basically okay and right now what you have to do you have to just uh, set this uh, end frame into a 10 and then i will just bake this process pressing the bake so here you can see so here you can see guys our baking is done and uh, now here you can see if i'll just play the okay so now here you can see if i'll just hit the space bar so we'll get the that inflation effect here so here you can see yes bang and here you can see we have a perfect inflation effect here which is look super cool here you can see that's look fine and after that what you have to do you have to just uh, apply your cloth modifier from here and now you have a physical mesh here so first of all you have to just set this origin into a geometry select this part and do origin to a geometry and make sure you just set this into a word origin then you have to just add one uh, plane here and go to a front view and from here you will change the align as a view then scale this part something like that and you can just uh, keep it little behind of this text something like that okay and now we'll just switch our rendering mode from here and uh, first of all we'll just add the shader into our this text so for that what you have to do you have to just go to a material section and here you have to just create a new material and from here you have to just uh, choose a little yellowish color something like that and make sure you enable this metallic value to one okay and make sure you decrease the roughness so you will get this plastic effect here and which is look super cool here you can see okay and after that what you have to do you have to just uh, add this background color so i have already created one background color for this and uh, for create this round effect we'll just use the uh, one modifier it's called basically a simple deform modifier here you can see and we'll just change the twist as a band then we'll just change the axis as a z axis and here you can see we have a perfect round uh, shape here and if i'm just going to increase the roundness here you can see we can bend according to our suitability okay so 45 degrees look fine to me and after that you have to just uh, see on your render view here you can see that looks something like that and now you have to just hit the f12 into our your scene and you will get the something like that you will get something like that so that's how you can create that kind of inflation effect in the blender with the help of the cloth simulation which is easy and super trick which is i thought i should share with you so i hope you enjoy this video you can also call this balloon text effect as well okay so i hope you enjoy this video so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys